Hey, I mean, once you take me out to the ball game, take me out to the crowd, buy me some hot dogs and beer and maybe some clam chowder. I don't care if we ever come back. I don't know, is that how it goes? Glad we took the metro because I'm not paying forty thousand dollars. Good morning from Boston. We're Madison and Ivan, and today's mad adventure is a Fenway food tour. The best kind of tour. <laughs> so this is the oldest ballpark in Major League Baseball. It opened up. The first game here at this stadium was five days after the Titanic sank. Um, so I guess kind of a dark time, but. Uh, that's how old it is, 1912. Like, oh, what is that, 110, 100, 110 years ago. Old, like such a cool historic place, such a cool beginning of one of the biggest American sports. And uh, you know, we're not really the type of people that usually go to sports games that are not for teams that we like truly are passionate about. But I mean, this, this place is a piece of American history. So we're gonna explore the park, explore some of the history of the park itself, but also be eating all sorts of the crazy historic food that they have here. Getting some, what are you excited for food-wise? Oh, I mean, hot dogs. Everyone <laughs> knows you gotta have a hot dog when you go to a sports game. Absolutely. Uh, maybe meeting some former Red Sox players and getting uh, some food that they've made for us. And hopefully something to cool us off. Maybe we'll go ahead and start off with a nice brewski before the game starts. <laughs> So the first stop on any Fenway Park food tour has to be the Bleacher Bar. We're gonna get some brews in Fenway Stadium, but not in Fenway Stadium. You don't have to have a ticket to go here, but you get, you're like literally in the bleachers, in the Green Monster with a view of all of the stadium. It's really cool. And if the crowd is anything to go by, this is gonna be a blast. I got uh, their local special from Bentwater right now. The kettle sour tastes like an uh, alcoholic juice. It's really, really yummy. I got the Jack's Abbey Blood Orange Beach. It's pretty good. Refreshing. So at the bleacher bar, when you go to the restroom, there's this big pane of glass right above the urinal so you get a nice view into the game so you don't have to miss a second of it even if you have to go to the restroom real quick. It's <laughs> awesome. Sounds like she's saying crab rave. Crab rave. So we are here at El Tiante for a Cuban sandwich. The legendary pitcher, Luis Tiante, who played for the Boston Red Sox and played in the MLB for 18 seasons. Uh, this is his Cuban sandwich shop. He is originally from Cuba and wanted to bring the taste of his old home to his new home. So we are super excited to give his uh, uh, Cuban sandwich a shot. We love Cuban sandwiches. And I think we see him. I think we're gonna get an autograph. So cool. Beautiful. That's so cool! I just got an autograph and we got a sandwich from baseball legend Louis Tiante. This is incredible! What a cool start to our time at Fenway! But it's like not quite as bad as I thought. So these are the type of seats, these are still in Fenway Park today. Um, and I was uh, reading that they're, I mean they're just too close for comfort in today's day and age. But they still have them and I was reading that they haven't taken them out because if they were to replace them with modern day, more spacious seats, they would lose 40,000 seats in the stadium. I think it was 40,000, it might've been 4,000. I'm pretty sure it was 40,000 seats in the stadium if they replaced them with the modern seats. So they still have these um, wooden, very narrow seats here in Fenway Park. It's history, historic seats.
I can't believe I managed to not eat it until we found our seats. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so hungry. That mustard. Real mustard makes such a huge difference. Pickle. Oh, I love the breeze. Acid cuts it so nice. This is my kind so of baseball game. Some ticket holders? Dude, that is really good. I highly recommend this. I feel like with a celebrity name on it, you never know what to expect. Like, is that the only reason why people go there? But this is actually delicious. Like, really nice. It's great stadium food too. Like, it's light. I like it. As we walk around, we see so many pieces of baseball history. A kid section complete with a magician, and of course, the famous <laughs> green monster. When we decided to focus on the food today, we thought it might be a silly idea. But it turns out that that is a thing to do here in Fenway. The lines for the food are so massive. Absolutely scorching from our lap around the park, it's time to hop into one of these lines for something rejuvenating. Yeah, I got you. It look good. I got you. <laughs> Let me see. Right there. Yeah. It is a hot, hot day here today. So we had to come get a frozen lemonade, a Dell's fresh fruit. Um, usually it's like the pre-packaged frozen Minute Maid lemonades, not like this. This is fresh and soft and just looks delicious. Oh yeah, this is really good. It's more like Chick-fil-A lemonade vibes, but frozen. Mm. This is really nice, super fresh, super, just the right amount of sweet and sour and super refreshing on this hot day. Mm -hmm. Highly recommend on a hot day at Fenway, must get. Fenway is such a famous destination that there weren't really many full-time Red Sox fans around us. So in our section, this was the most dramatic part of the game. We did it, Joe, we did it. Never give up. Never give up. Always believe. You can wave. It took so long to get it started, but now we will never stop. And of course, stop. we couldn't miss participating in this Red Sox tradition. Go Red Sox! But now it's time for the biggest tradition in all of baseball. Uh -huh. We got the famous Fenway Frank. Now that is a classic dog. So, we have the Fenway Frank. So it's the staple of the Fenway Park. And what makes it special, well, what you'll notice right away is that the outside kind of looks like bread, right? Just like a piece of toast. The New England roll that they use, very uh, critical piece of the Fenway dog. And then the, the dog itself, the Frankfurt, is actually both boiled and grilled. It has like its own little secret sauce mix of uh, uh, seasoning and spices as well. So let's see how it tastes. Really juicy. It just like pops. I think the boiling keeps the moisture all in there. And the grilling gives a little bit of sear at the end. That's a good combo. 
It's more work, but it might be worth it. This, the Fenway Fenway break. Mm. Hot dogs themselves are an American baseball classic, and getting one from the most historic baseball park in the country is actually a pretty cool special experience. Now let's go watch the game end. So this seat is painted red to mark the spot of the furthest home run ever thrown in Fenway history. And now I get to sit on it. My favorite part of Fenway is that literally right over there is where Elle Woods got married. From Legally Blonde. What? From Legally Blonde. Like, is that the character? Oh, what? Yeah. Oh, okay. We had a ball exploring the history of America's first sport and the food that comes with it. Thank you so much for joining us for this mad adventure. Please like and subscribe. Join us on the next one as we head to the Cape to see what all the hype about Cape Cod is about. And until then, remember to live your own mad adventure.